this one I am really in love with out of all of the things I can do with my heat signature gun here. I can take for a parasitic drain type of problem, I have the ability to go ahead and not battery cables or any of the other stuff. I can first go ahead and try to find the parasitic drain after the vehicle has been shut off for a while, take my gun, shine it at the various fuse boxes that are located throughout the car, and you'll see that I'm seeing a couple fuses there that have some hot spots to them. One of them happens to be a relay, and then I can see whichever fuse has the, the highest amount of heat signature present. Then at that point, still without going ahead and you know disconnecting anything, then I could take my digital multimeter and I could do a voltage drop test across the top of that fuse because we all know if I, if I disconnect the battery or if I start pulling fuses on a modern day car, I'll wake up the network and then sometimes that might actually, when I put the fuse back in, it may reset that module that was causing the drain to begin with. So I really like the test that I can do with this on a fuse box to help me find parasitic drains throughout the vehicle. Now I can also use this tool to help locate if I have a shorted cell in a battery. So here, it's pretty much in the same area as the fuse box, but I'm actually just shining the thermal imaging gun right on the actual battery itself. And I could see the individual cells and I can see if I have a particular cell that maybe is, is drawing more current than the rest of them. When it draws more current, it's because the two, two of the cells inside the battery case are actually shorted together. So it's gonna increase the amperage, which in turn will go ahead and give me a higher heat signature. Another example is I can use it to help locate any type of cooling system problems or malfunctions, whether it be a lack of heat or you know, whatever, overheating condition, or maybe it's not heating up enough, whatever the case happens to be. I can shine this at anything on the cooling system. I didn't take a whole bunch of pictures about cooling systems because I think everybody gets the general gist of what we're explaining here. But I have a picture here of showing the, the heater tank hoses there. Um, I can use this to, also, let's say I put a water pump on somebody's vehicle and I was wondering, so I want to burp the cooling system afterwards, right? So we know that that's not going to be 100% possible until the thermostat opens up. Well, here's something I can do real quick. I can just shine it on there and I can see when a hose that is going from cold to hot is finally reaching operating temperature. At that point, I know it's safe for me to go ahead and top off the, the radiator, whatever the case happens to be.